If you like these videos and would like me to continue to bring more content, consider becoming a patron of mine. With pledges starting as low as $1, you will gain access to exclusive content rewards such as prints, gift boxes, live streams, tutorials, wallpapers, postcards, and more. The link will be in the description box below to pledge. Thank you so much and please enjoy the upcoming video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you the watercolors for beginners video. It's the first video of the series that I'm going to be doing for you guys that will teach you everything about watercolor. So today I'm just showing you the tools for watercolor, which you basically need to succeed in this. And the first things I'm showing you are two palettes. The first one is just a bigger palette that I used to use back when I was a beginner and um, it works really really well and it looks really really good I'll put the link down below to that palette and then also a smaller palette that I use now and it's just way way better and more convenient because it doesn't take up like a lot of space on my desk so you can either get like a smaller palette or a bigger palette and I um, it doesn't matter which palette you get it just depends on the type of paint you have so if you have two paints like I'm showing you here you would need a palette if you don't want to always whip out your two paints to put on like a little tablet or anything so here i'm just showing you the colors that you should have which is basically primary colors which would be the red blue and yellow i added green in there as well because i use green as well um and also paints gray I really like that color these are like the f five colors that I would ultimately need in a palette and also purple so those colors that that I would absolutely need so if you can afford to just get like you know the primary colors and then mix colors up instead of like getting a whole set and here I'm just showing you like my favorite color of all the watercolors I have and it's called per permanent Alizarin crimson hopefully I'm saying that well but yeah those are my favorite colors um, so I do recommend that you at least have the primary colors and you will go a long way you just have to learn how to mix colors and learn color theory and all that although I don't really know that much about color color theory I just know the basics next let's talk about the types of watercolor paints you can use there are two types there's one in a palette one in actually there are plenty more but one in a palette and one in tubes that I have used for sure um, the one I use now are tubes in the beginning I used to use like the palettes the little cheap palettes which were to be honest very horrible so if you want to be like serious about this I do recommend two paints and the one I use currently are whole vine they're really really good and I had got the set of 60 and they're like around hundred and nineteen dollars they were very cheap for a set of 60 paints and they're lasting me a very long time um, if you can't afford that which you know I feel you I can I can barely afford it so I have two more paint um, types that you can choose from they're more student grade but they're very very good for like um, beginners and very high quality so the first one I recommend is Stettler and then the second one I recommend is Reeves these two are very very good especially Stettler this was like the first watercolor paints I used um, they were in a set of 24 and retail for around $24 just like Reeves and let's talk a little bit more about the palette. So these palettes um, I got off Amazon. They were pretty cheap. I use these palettes mostly because I have two paints and they work really well with the paints I use. Um, I only use this small palette because I don't really use a lot of colors that much. These colors are the only colors I use. And I would just mix them together to get um, other colors. So I definitely recommend if you have two paints and not like a palette already set out for you to get um, a palette for your two paints because it would be much much easier on you you don't have to always get out um, your two paints every time you want to paint you'll just put it in this little palette and every time you want to paint you just whip out your palette and you're good you don't have to go through 
all that extra mess when it comes to like um, two paints and here I'm going to show you some paint brushes so these are the paint brushes I ultimately used when I was a beginner um, this one is just a flat round brush I think I think this is from Royal and Land Nickel it is really really good and it looks really pretty so that's a plus I also recommend like a, a dropper so you can like drop um, water and um, have more water build up I also recommend a smaller flat round brush um, that's really really good for coloring in the skin I also recommend a round brush as well um, this is one is from also from Royal Atlantical I use it sometimes as well and then a big um, I forgot what that brush is called but this one is from Master Touch which I absolutely love Master Touch because they're extremely cheap and extremely good so if you need brushes go to master touch like they're so so cheap and if you go like to hobby lobby it's always on sale so you know i got you and i got a smaller detail brush um that's also from master touch it's i use it for like smaller details like the lips or like the eyes or like when i want to do precise shading these are the brushes i use and then the yellow brush um i use that for like uh the gold details in my pieces and then this one is my favorite brush ever. You guys always ask me what brush this is. And I actually brought a new one. So let me get the name. The name of this page brush is called B. Reese. That comes from that line. This I think it's a knockoff of the another brush. But I forgot what that brush is. Um, I got this from Hobby Lobby. It's pretty cheap. So I definitely recommend this brush if you want to use it. Because I love it. And then here are some tools that I use with my um, watercolor paintings. I use that paper cutter to cut my paper, which I will show you guys in a future tutorial. I also use these two tapes, artist tapes, to tape down my pieces. I used to do that a lot at the beginning, um, so it doesn't warp the paper. And now I'm showing you guys what you guys always ask about, like you guys love this palette. This is the Fine Tech Gold Palette from Fine Tech. I think that's the name of the company but yeah they're really really good and then here I'm just showing you guys some watercolor pads so I use Strathmore which is more on the cheaper side Canson is more on the cheaper side as well although they do have a high-end um, paper which is actually right there like it's that blue one with the hot blooms on it hot air blooms on it but these two Strathmores are really, really good for practice. I know that one was like $9.99. It was so cheap. And then the other two papers underneath are more on the high end. They're both hot press paper. Um, I used to use cold press a lot, but I don't use it that much no more. So, yeah. If you want to go something a little bit high end, I recommend Canson and Arches. Those are very, very good paper, especially Arches. I love it so much. But if you want to go um, with a little bit more student grade and low price, I do recommend Strathmore and Canson as well because they do have some good grade paper that you will love. Yeah, so these are the papers I recommend as beginners, um, especially Strathmore and the Canson student grade paper they will be very amazing for you to practice on and once you get bigger you can move on to the arches and cants and hot press so thank you so much guys for watching i hope you guys learned something from this video i can't wait to bring you the second installment of this series all links will be down below in the description box i'll see you guys next saturday for a new video